Hi friends. I'm dropping in to share with you again. Uh, I am participating in the Let's Get Organized YouTube Pop here on YouTube. And today we are sharing how we store our thickers. I don't have a lot of thickers in my stash. I store my thickers with all of my stickers and die cuts and embellishments and that sort of thing in binders. And so I thought I would take you through a little tour of how I store them. I'm gonna switch the camera around so I can tour you through those and hopefully you find something inspiring through today's video. I'll be right back. So all of my embellishments are organized and stored in these white binders. I bought them from the Dollarama they are stored on a cube shelving unit that I have in my craft room. And I have each of them labeled as well. I just used my little label maker to um, organize them. I do it alphabetically by manufacturer. So there's four binders currently. And inside the binders, I have page protectors that I stuff everything into. So I just pulled one off the shelf randomly um, just to show you a look on the inside. So when I open it up, the first one will be random things from Ali Edwards that I have um, in this regular eight and a half by 11 page protector. Um, these are actually donations, hand-me-downs from the company that my husband works for when they left White Court here. Um, they left all this stuff behind and so we just helped ourselves to them. <laughs> so that's where um, some of the larger chipboard things from Ali Edwards and stickers are stored in here. Um, of course I have other manufacturers as well and I'll get to that in uh, just a minute but the stuff that will not fit into my little plastic tackle boxes slash organizers for the smaller ephemera, from Ali Edwards at least, just Ali Edwards, um, all goes in here. So that's Ali Edwards. But if we flip further back, you'll see that I have um, Coco Vanilla in this binder as well. I only have the two manufacturers in this one, and I have everything from them in here. So embellishments, die cuts, you can see alphas back here as well. Um, Sticker sheets, I also have the chipboard sticker sheets as well. I have everything stored together um, just because it works for me. I don't, like I said earlier, I don't have enough thickers to store them on their own. So I lump everything together by manufacturer and store it together. The plan is as I expand and add more products from the manufacturer into these albums, I, or into the binders, I will add more binders. Um, and they're from the Dollarama. So they're like 250 at the most for a binder. And then the page protectors are free and I have a ton of them. So it's really cost effective. It's very cheap to store my stuff this way. And it works for me. I have the space to do it. So why not work with it? Um, so this video is very short and sweet and super simple, um, but I hope that maybe you got something out of it and it inspired you. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing all the other ladies that are participating and seeing how they store their thickers. Maybe they've got something that I hadn't even thought of and this system might switch. But for now, it totally works for me and I am enjoying it. And oh, by the way, I will leave links to all the ladies that are participating in this hop down below. I believe they have it listed as a playlist. So you'll be able to watch everybody in one go. If I'm able to get a hold of that, I will include it in the description box. Otherwise, I'll just leave links to all the other ladies that are participating their channels here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic week, friends. September is just around the corner. I can hardly wait for it. That means school for us in a very short amount of time. And I'm looking forward to getting back to structure and routine. 
I will be back soon with more creative inspiration. Take care, friends.